So let's see if that Pavel guy actually does know what he's talking about. I have my C1 Chaser all set up with his settings. Uh, so the P term is zero for roll and pitch. I term is seven for roll and pitch. Low pass filter for the gyro was on 20 and I have my feed forward settings on 60 for roll and pitch. <laughs> All right, well, it feels, feels very smooth. Feels lovely. It's pretty much hands off in rate mode, acro mode. The uh, feed forward of 60 feels, yeah, feels good to me. Uh, there's manual mode. There's feed forward mode. Pretty similar, really. Probably should be a little bit less, but I'm liking it. So let's try an angle mode just for the hell of it. Angle mode. And it's flying pretty level, that's good. Come back on an altitude hold. Altitude. Altitude hold. What's the altitude? 69, 68. That's all good. Oh, flying around behind me now. Back in control. Let's do a return to home. Return to launch. Return to launch. <coughs> Auto throttle is flashing when I go above. What is it, about 35? And my return to home altitude is 50 and I've got that sort of linear descent so it's turned at about 70 and it's descending down to 50. All very nice. Very good, alright. So that Pavel guy does know what he's talking about I think. This feels good. The only thing I haven't tried before really is the software filtering of the gyro down to 20. Don't really know what difference that makes but it seems to be working. It's nice and smooth. Follow this road up and it should lead us straight to the trees. There we go. Woohoo! I'm loving this C1 Chaser, just the right size. Can do range stuff with it, or you can do hooting around stuff like this, shooting gaps, just love it. Nice and smooth. So thank you very much Pavel, that seems to work beautifully.